Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a fox log using the popularly known Brazilian rule. Very easy to make, very affordable and it is so beautiful. So if you want to see how I make this, then you should definitely keep on watching. And as you can see, it is long, it is beautiful, it is in a box form and it is lovely. So enjoy the visuals guys. So to begin, I'm going to unravel the Brazilian wool and then I'll just measure it and cut it. To get my desired measurement properly, I like to measure it from my head down to my waist length. So by the time I finish measuring it, I just got the size, I just got the length and I went ahead to roll it on my hand. So by the time I finish doing this, I'm going to cut it with the scissors. So as you can see, it comes in different lengths and I'm using the longest one to roll while the two other short ones I'm using to just make the hair. So with the illustration, I'm going to explain better. So I'm just going to start by using my comb to my hair so I will make sure it is straight and it is neatly cut into sections so I'll just apply my shepherd on my scalp I usually apply shea butter on my scalp before I make my hair so it has a way of keeping my hair moisturized so I'll just apply the shea butter, I'll comb out my hair and I'll begin. So to begin, I'm going to cut out 6 strands of the wool and that is what I use for all of the hair to give it an equal size. So by the time I cut out six strands of the wool, I'm going to divide it into unequal sizes, not dragging it far away from each other, just a little bit unequal. So this is going to make it look more natural and it's going to make it look longer. It's going to give it a natural long texture. So right now I'm just going to braid it on my hair. So I'm just going to braid, braid it halfway on my hair. So after doing the partial braiding on my hair, right now I'll just get the longest one. So I I had to make sure this is longer than it's two times longer than the measurement I did earlier. So right now I'm just going to cut out five portions for the first and the second I'm going to cut out four portions. So these five and four portions now is because I am making it so long to the point that one isn't enough. So in order to save me time so I'm just going to cut them and keep, the, keep them aside and then I'll just roll it on my hair now so you will see when I am adding it up so right now I'll just start from the root I'll start rolling down to the top so to make it easier and faster to roll make sure you get at least enough room to be able to help you roll faster so getting two wood to roll might may, might take a lot of your time so which is why I decided to use five at the beginning and then to get the natural look downwards I'm just going to go out with four so by the time I get to the down you see what I'm talking about so 
so if you're rolling it make sure you're not rolling it too tight on the hair and it shouldn't be too loose so i like to go moderate on it so from the roots always make sure it is not so tight otherwise you're going to have lumps on your head so you're going to roll from up to down make sure it is not too tight and it is not too loose so it should be averagely rolled so this is what i'm talking about by the time it is finished i'll just keep this aside and then i'll just pull out the four portions which i cut earlier at the beginning so i'll just keep on rolling so at the beginning of this i'm going to roll it a little bit tighter to get a hold of it and then i'll just go on with rolling and that is just it guys So in order to make sure you have the same length, you are going to measure it and if it doesn't get to the length, then you keep on rolling but if it gets to the length, then you just tie it up and you proceed to the next one. So I am tying it at least 4 to 5 times to make sure I get the hold because if you don't tie it that if you don't tie it that too tight then it's going to lose in the long run. So this is what I am doing. And that is it guys. Check this out. So I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the hair. So sit back as I leave some write-ups so you can review and understand better. So we have just one remaining and as you can see this is obviously the next day so i had to prepare i had to do a little makeup and the next day guys check the hair it is popping it is so beautiful check this out guys so if you are the kind that like to make your hair and leave it for over months without making a new one then this is the hairstyle you definitely need for your hair so the next day and it is beautiful so i'm going to do the same thing i did for the first and the second illustration if you didn't get those ones then this is what you should you will definitely get this one so this is a nice hair idea for all hair kinds as you can see with the beautiful style any kind of hair you have you can do this if you have a short hair then you can do this if you have a long hair you can obviously do this so i just cut my hair recently guys i am starting up a natural hair journey and as you can see it is short and it's still good to go 
so because I like my hair to be longer so I just had to make it a bit longer so guys if you're making if you're making the hair if you're rolling it at the root of your hair always make sure it is not so tight first of all you need to avoid lumps and secondly you don't need your hair to pull out it's going to pull out the roots of your hair in the long run so make sure it is not so tight to avoid lumps and to avoid your roots from pulling out so you're just going to keep on rolling it slightly tight but not so tight and not so loose so that's what I kept on doing and Check this out guys, this is just so beautiful. This is my favorite hair of the month, my favorite hair of the decade, is my favorite hair of the season. So always make sure they are they are running at the same length. Even if you cannot achieve the same length, just make sure you are just getting there. At least they are looking almost same length. So by the time I was done guys, check this out. This is a bomb. I'm going to show you from every angle. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. It is so beautiful, guys. It is a nice hairstyle and it's not tiny. So right now I'm just going to go over it with the scissors and cut out the excess part of the hair. So this is not going to take up to 5 minutes to do. So you just cut it not so close to where you tied it and I'll just do it for all of the hair. So by the time I was done, I just went ahead to burn the tip of the hair with candle. So this is how I do it. I do it gently. I start by putting the candle on the tip and I just blow it out a little and then I smoosh it out with my hands. So this is going to help it stay still and it's going to help it look, it's going to help it hold firmly at the down of the hair. So as you can see, if you follow this candle step, I'm definitely sure you're going to have your hair looking so nice and it's not losing out in the end. So check this out guys, from up to root and it is so beautiful. So I'll just apply some decorations and glitters and tips to the hair and there we go, we are good to go. So right now, let me just use this medium to thank all of you guys. I read your comments, I read every of your messages, I've been getting messages on Facebook, on every of my social media platform and I really want to appreciate all of you for your support so far, your encouragement and I am really grateful guys. So if you if you like this hairstyle then you definitely need to subscribe to my channel and if you're having struggles with other protective styling too then you definitely need to subscribe because I am on for you guys. So make sure you don't forget to leave your beautiful comment like this video subscribe to my channel share this video guys someone on your timeline might want to do this and this is so beautiful i love this and i'm sharing it with you guys so share it to everyone feel my like this and bless you all so this is it guys this is the final outlook of the hair and i believe at this point we are really slaying so I love this, I love this and it's so beautiful. So I'll just leave you on so to see how I sleep with this and I'm just going to stand up for a while so you see. So this is the overview of the hair guys. 
check this out look at the length it is along my waist length and if you're like me that likes longer hair then this is definitely beautiful if you want to make it shorter it is still beautiful so that is it about this video guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video